Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how I model this ear bus using free cut. So this is how it look. In the patchwork bench, I will create a new sketch in the front view. And we create a center arc. Start from here. Selecting this point and this line, hit C. This point and this line, hit C to snap it. And set the radius to 9. Then I close. And I go up to the view. Talk your axis cross to show the arrow. Uh, now I will create a slot that away from the front plane 6 mm. I create a new sketch in the front, offset this one to 6. And I create a slot. Make sure this line has the vertical constraint on it. Select in this point and this point. I hit C to snap it to the center. And I've set the radius of this one to 3. And the length of this line to 16. Close. The next step is I want to write a surface in between so in here i will create a line to connect from this point of this arc to this point now here i will write in a plane curve blended between this arc and this lot and in between i will fill the surface but uh, i will use the golden surface for that but later i want to mirror this golden surface to the other side to the yz plane in here i need to have another plane curve connect also also close to this one something like this to control the tangency when i mirror it to the other side and also up here later i will have another surface I also want to have a tension C in here, so I also need another another line in here. Okay. So first, I need to go back to the slot and uh, adjust the sketch. I select in this uh, arc. I don't want to use it. This one and this one, and I hit G and N to turn that into construction geometry. And I create a center arc and recreate this arc from here to here and finish in here. Maybe I just finish in somewhere in here. And then I select in this point and then this line and hit C. So uh, we have redundant constraints. So I click on the number 12 and delete it. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I close. So this is what we have okay but before i'm connecting in between i need to do this arc to the left and this one to the right so i click on the arc go to is true negative one in the y axis and 10 is okay click okay well now we have a sheet doing the same selecting this one go to is true in the y axis positive one okay all right something like this next i want to split uh the slot to have this line and also split this up here i split these two to have these two lines so first, uh, I will combine these two sheets together. Shift select these two, and go to the part compile. Make compile. Okay, and I'll call this one. 
original and uh, I create a new sketch in the front view and I create a line like this and I will set the distance between this line and this line will be one is enough and make sure this line is longer than the slot close I will select in the sketch go to is true let's try 50 for that symmetric okay all right and let's rename this one to uh cut one okay now um i'm going to create another sketch in the right view and i also create a line distance between this line and this line will be one close and make sure this line uh, you uh, set it to horizontal then i will issue this one also 50 symmetric okay now i will rename this one to cut the two now I shift to left V2 and I go to prod compile make compile and I will rename this one to cutter. Okay. Now I will control select in the original and the cutter later. Go to the prod compile uh split and then slide to compile. Okay. The next step is I want to uh, for writing lines and blankers. So you go to the curse workbench and um, in the curse workbench I will control select in this point and then this point and I will create a line. Okay. Doing the same in here. This one and this one. Create a line. Now here you can create in blank curve or you can do like this. Uh, you can do select in this line and then this face, this line, and then this face. And you create a plane surface. So in default, the plane surface has the G2 continuity. So I just keep it C2. And I'm not going to use the plane surface to fill in between. I just want to use it to help these two lines. So I will uh, use in the joy curve for that. So selecting this curve, go to joy curve. Now we have a new joy curve created based on this curve. Doing the same in here. Select this curve, joy curve. Now I hide the blend surface. Okay. Next, I will come down here, selecting this line, this line, and then this line, and create joy curve. Down here, this one, this one, this one, and then this one, joy curve. Now, if I hide the slice, this is what we have. Okay, so now I'm going to control select in this line, this line, this joy curve, this joy curve, and V2, and I go to golden surface. Okay, now I can mirror this one to the other side. So I click on the golden surface, and I go to the product bench and mirror. Mirror this one in the YZ plan. And let me go inside here and hide all of these lines. I go to the curse workbench to check the continuity. See down here the continuity working really nice in between.
let's uh before i continue i need to fill all of these holes and create a solid so i go to the product bench okay and i just simply using the root surface selecting this line and then this line control selecting visualize and go to the root surface select these two root surface okay and select these two root surface okay now i just simply hit ship b and select everything and I go to the curves for bench and parametric solid to create a new solid and I go to the product bench and I will create a new sketch in the top view and I will reference uh, this one I create polyline Let's start from here, 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 and then here. Select in this line and hit H for horizontal. This one hit H. This one hit V for vertical. And this one, and this point, and this line hit C to snap it. Then I close. And I go to revolve. In the y axis, and let's try 180. Okay, now I need to reverse the revolve. Click on the revolve, go to the um, angles, set it to negative 180. I create a new sketch on the top view and I will reference this slide I build a section by creating an arc connect from here to here selecting this arc and this line hit T for tension selecting this point and this point hit V for vertical constraint and we set the radius to 1 then we create in now another arc. Start from here to here. Set the radius to 18. Distance from this point to this line will be 3. From here to the red line will be 10. Now I can close the sketch by using polyline. Sometimes the polyline go tangent, so you just simply hit M, M, two times, and then you close the sketch. Selecting this line, hit eight for horizontal. Okay, selecting this point, and then this point, hit C. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I close. And I will revolve it in the y axis 360. In the back, I also creating another sketch. In the front view, offset this one also 6. I view the section. I recreate the slot and set the radius to 3 the length of this one to 16 selecting this point and this point hit C then I close let's do this one to two. go to the positive one in the y axis click on this Apply, go to the chamfer, 
by one for that. So let in this line go to the fillet. Also one. Okay. Maybe I should select this one and then this one go to the fillet. Let's try zero point five. Now I will ship select these four. Go to the union. Next, I will create a new sketch in the right view and I view the section. I'm creating a uh, bee supply. Start from here. One, two, three. And another one down here. One, two, three. Selecting this point and this point, hit V for vertical. This point and this point hit eight, doing the same down here. I create a line connect in between. Select in this line and hit V for vertical constraint. Select in this line and this line hit E for ego. And set the length of this one to one. Maybe zero point five. And the distance from this point to the center line will be twelve. The distance from this point to the red line one. The distance from here to the center line. And the distance from this point to uh, the center will be let's try five for that. Maybe four point five. Let's go to revolve this one. In the y axis and three sixty. Okay. Let me hide the fusion. Let's go and control select and these two. Go to the fillet. Let's try uh, point two. And up here, select, select these two. Fillet it with point one. Let me show the fusion. Let me see that in this line and go to the fillet. Let's try 0.5 or maybe 0.7. So that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.